Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be creating my own background and I'm going to be creating a plaid background using Distress Inks. So I have my watercolor cardstock and I put a little bit of the blueprint sketch Distress Ink on my nonstick craft sheet and then squirted it with water. And then I'm taking a thicker paintbrush and I'm just drawing lines all the way down the sheet. Now, these aren't necessarily straight, and that's kind of the fun of creating your own background and creating a plaid is that they're all different. So I'm just trying to straighten these out as best as I can, but it's okay if they're a little bit crooked because that just adds to the handmade part. So to make these a little bit darker, I'm just adding in some more Distress Ink and just making that color as dark as I can. So then I'll move on and create my next stripe. And you can see I'm going over these areas a few times and then really making it thick. I'm going to be using various different size paintbrushes and widths for my background just so that it's a different type of plaid. After I make these stripes, I'm going to go in and create stripes the other direction to create that checkerboard look. And you can do these as far apart or as close together as you would like. And you can also add in as many colors as you would like. The possibilities really are endless. You can mix and match different distress inks and create a whole variety of different backgrounds. So my next color I'm using is the Mermaid Lagoon. And I'm going to do the same thing. Put a little bit on my nonstick craft sheet and then squirt it with my water. And then I have a smaller paintbrush that I'm using and I'm going to create really teeny stripes um, down the side and I'm going over the part that has a little bit of white left in there and the blueprint sketch color is completely dried at this point. So you can see I'm just straightening these lines once again trying to do this as easily as I can. <laughs> I don't want to make this a really complicated process and I really want it to look handmade and more messy I guess. So then I'm doing the same thing and adding lines the other direction to create that plaid look. And the fun part about this is when you go over that blueprint sketch, even though it's completely dried, it still kind of picks up a little bit of that color and makes it a different color when it's mixed with the Mermaid Lagoon ink. So my final color I'm going to be using, you can see it sitting on the side, is the Fossilized Amber. So I'm just putting a little bit on my nonstick craft sheet once again and squirting that with water. And then I'm taking a really thin paintbrush as well and I'm just going to create really small lines of this yellow in there. So I'm going on the part that's next to, or in between the Blueprint Sketch and Mermaid Lagoon. And I'm just making really tiny yellow lines. So then I'm just going in and doing the opposite direction and then adding those yellow lines on top. And all of the other colors are dry at this point. Um, I dried them with my heat tool. You can let them air dry if you want to take a break in between doing each of these. But I just let mine, or I just dried mine with my heat tool. And then when you're done making your background, um, I set mine aside and let it dry while I worked on the rest of my card. So I'll go ahead and stamp my image. This is from Newton's Nook, and I'm stamping this with Tuxedo Black Memento ink on a piece of Coordination's 110 pound cardstock. So I'm just gonna go ahead and ink up my stamp really well, and I chose the little cat that's kind of peeking around the large present. Okay, so now I'm gonna color this in with my Copic markers. You can use any coloring medium that you prefer. I'm coloring in the base of the cat with the C1, and it's just a really light gray color. And then I'm going to go in with my C3 and add little bits of shading all along the edges on the cat image. And then I'm also going to add a little bit more shading with the C5. So I'm just going to add little flicks of that onto the cat. And then I'll go back in with my C1 and just blend all of those colors together. So I wanted to make the cat's paws a little bit darker, so I'm coloring those in with the C3. 
And then for the inside of the cat's ears and the nose, I'm using the RV10. So for the cat's present, I want it to match the background. So I'm using the B21, which is a light blue color, and I'm coloring in the entire box part of both of those presents. And then I'll add in a little bit of shading. I'm going to be using the B24. And again, you could use colored pencils, the Zig Clean Color brush markers. You can use watercolors, anything you want to color in this image. So then I'm blending the color together with the B21 once again. And all of the supplies that I am using on this card will be linked below if you're interested in purchasing any of them. And then for the bow, I'm coloring this in with the Y35, which is kind of more of a golden yellow, and it really matches that fossilized amber that we used in the background. And then for my darker color, I'm using the Y38. And then I'll take that Y35 once again and blend both of those colors together. So I fussy cut my image out, and now I'm going to assemble my card. So first I have my plaid background, and I'm going to attach this to a white A2 size card base. And I'm just using my ATG gun to adhere those together. And then I'm going to take a piece of vellum and just attach that onto my plaid. That kind of softens and tones down the background, and then it won't matter as much if you make any mistakes. And then my final step on this card, I'm going to be adding a few sequins. This is the Electric Mix from Mint Owl Studio. These sequins are gorgeous. They are so sparkly and shiny, and they come in really bright colors. So I'm just adhering those down with my multi-medium in the matte finish. I squirt down a little bit of the glue and then press each of the sequins down into the adhesive. And then that is my finished card for today. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you're not already. And I will see you back here next time. Bye everyone!